Hi, I'm Ali and a warm welcome to Face Yoga Master. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you a couple of really great acupressure points, Chinese acupressure points for the facial and neck area. This will really help with glowing skin and also blood circulation and flow to the facial area as well as the neck. Now we're going to do a little bit of lymphatic drainage at the end as well, just so we can release all the toxins and the waste within the skin, within the facial area and the neck area. Now I do like to start with clean skin and I'm just going to use just a little bit of facial oil here, just so we're not compromising the skin by dragging and pulling at it. So just a tiny bit of oil and I'm just going to work literally the lower part of the face is side of the neck and also the collarbone here and actually not forgetting the top of the head here just the forehead right so what we're going to do first is we're going to go to our first pressure point and this is where the neck is here so where we have our neck we have a couple of points behind the neck here so i'm going to place my thumb take my hands literally wedge it into my hair here we take our fingers and then you can move along if you take your thumbs make sure they're together along the occipital bone and they're actually touching and they just move slightly along and you will feel an indentation literally sides and what you want to do is just give that just a very little gentle press and then we're going to just work in a round circular motion if i can show you here with my finger here my thumb center of the head and just the indentation there and if you can just give that on either side a very light gentle massage one way we can end up with tight necks and we can end up with headaches tension within the face so we're actually increasing blood flow and circulation and this will also help settle down the nervous system particularly if you can take a couple of deep belly breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth just calming everything down and keeping the rest of the face nice and relaxed and then you want to go the other way round circular motions with the thumb in the opposite direction making sure that the shoulders are relaxed as well. You don't want to be too tight. And then we're just going to press in just a little bit. You don't want to be too uncomfortable, just for a few moments and then release. And then just literally keep pressing in, pressing in and then releasing. And we just do that a few times. Then we're going to take our fingers, place them so they're both they're touching either side of the neck and just gently glide along, along the base of the head and the top of the neck. Just moving everything along. This is quite a light to medium touch. And one last time. So where we have our neck here, we have our collarbone. And just all the way along the collarbone here, we have some points, literally from where our SEM muscle is, either side of the neck here. And if you just go down, you should be able to feel the points just around here. And you might be able to even see them if you look into the mirror. And we're just going to be very, very gentle and just slightly just hold down on them, either side. And then again, just a very light, circular motion just going one way this is a really great point here and then we just go the other way very lightly also helping with as well as blood flow and circulation we're actually helping sort of move toxins and waste within the area and then just a very gentle light press and release so almost a pulsating press. And release. So now I'm just going to take my fingers, just massage 
the top of the forehead from the third eye heading towards the hairline and this is a light delicate touch and what we're going to do now is we're actually just going to move toxins and waste within the facial and neck area and then finish pressing on our final point which will actually release all the toxins and waste so then the fingers placed middle of the forehead and then just gently glide across this will help with these fine lines and wrinkles also on the forehead area sorry the sun is now coming out so the light is changing which is always great and then with the ring finger just gliding under the eyes where the bone is and then from the side of the nose under the cheekbone okay moving everything along thumbs placed under the chin fingers above gliding under the jawline where we have again plenty of lymph nodes so just moving everything along and the lymph is close to the surface of the skin so again you don't need to be too heavy-handed and then we're going to take our fingers into a v-shape one at the front one at the back and just gently go with a little massage either side and then just work down either side of the SCM muscle and then with the fingers we're just going to massage from the top of the neck to the bottom of the head small round circular motions and if you feel a little bit of tenderness just give it a little extra massage out and then once the fingers are touching we just gently glide again towards the ears working all the way along and then from the ears again plenty of lymph nodes working down this big SCM muscle heading down towards the collarbone nice light touch and then from the chin all the way down where our collarbone is just along here we have another couple of points a couple of indentations if you like and you just want to give those a few gentle presses and this will release all the toxins and waste we've moved within the facial area into the body ready for elimination so I hope you enjoyed today's video on the pressure points, which I really do think helps rejuvenate those fine lines and wrinkles, blood flow to the head area as well as the neck area, which really does help with glowing skin also. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing and a thumbs up if you found the video useful. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Okay, bye.